approximately six foot. Would I lie to you? Tonight at 830 on KTLA 5. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Kately 5 Morning News at 9 o'clock on this Saturday. I'm Mark Messer. There's a vigil that's happening tonight to mourn the two El Monte police officers who were killed in the line of duty. We'll have everything that you need to know. And good morning to you. I'm Lynette Romero. Flight cancellations and delays are racking up by the thousands here and all across the country. We are live at LAX with what to expect as the summer travel season kicks into high gear. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dana Devon. If you love teachers, you're going to love what this famous singer did for his first ever teacher. Plus, Dwayne The Rock Johnson's heart is bigger than his muscles. I'll explain why coming up in the Entertainment Report. Stay tuned. And today will be the coolest day of the week before another warm-up. We'll look at your seven days and talk about that Father's Day forecast. That's all coming up. All right, good morning and happy Saturday. Welcome to Heathley 5 Morning News at 9 o'clock. We begin this morning with a look mm. at the historic Brighton Pier. This is Brighton, England. We have not been here before. We, we have not. We'll take you around the world. So here's the situation here. Okay. The pier dates back to 1899. It still draws more than 4 million visitors every single year. A little cloudy, but it still looks nice, right? It looks like, what time would it be there? They have to be heading towards sunset, right? You think? Probably. Brighton, England. You know, we always ask those kinds of questions, don't we? And do you know how slow my thumbs work? <laughs> <laughs> Brighton, England. Time, England, time. Brighton, Let's England. Have see. You, have you been to England? 5 p.m. 5 p.m.? Yep. They've got about three hours, right? Yeah. All right. Have you been there? No. Never like to... Never have I ever. London? No. None of those places? Never have I ever. I've been to Heathrow. Really? I did. I had a McDonald's Big Mac. And on then a, you came on a back? layover to Budapest. How yeah. was it? The Big Mac? Uh-huh. Yeah, I've had better. The same? Was it the same as here? <laughs> no, it's not. It's not every, the same? No, every, and they charge for ketchup. How much? In your, I, I, in Hungary, you have forints. Uh -huh. So you'd have to give them like 100 forints just to get a packet of ketchup in Europe. Wow. I know. Yikes. All right, well, there you go. He learns you something go. new every day. Every day. 9.01 here on this Saturday morning on our top stories. For the third day in a row, air travelers right now, they're dealing with some major flight delays and also cancellations. Nearly 700 trips have already been axed nationwide so far this morning. It's just going to get worse, they tell us, as more people, of course, are trying to head off for summer vacation. KTL 5's Aaron Myers is live at LAX with a look at the conditions. So last hour, Aaron, you said people are being pretty nice. I think it has to do because you're pretty yeah. nice. Aaron's nice. But are you seeing any <laughs> frustration? How are things going now? We're hoping still okay. Yeah, no, everybody's been really nice. I try to butter them up a little bit, but definitely some frustration. Uh, people are getting stuck trying to find some new flights, at least uh, over at Delta where we were this morning. We talked to a couple of people that had their flights canceled and they were left scrambling. And we are seeing flights canceled again today. Thousands the last couple of days, already hundreds today here at LAX. Uh, nearly 30 flights have been canceled and more than 70 have been delayed. And nationwide, American Airlines and Delta Airlines have had the most cancellations. A spokesman for Americans said the majority are weather related, but supply and demand another issue. During the pandemic, airlines and airports cut back on personnel to stop losing money. So now there are staffing problems. JetBlue recently announced a plan to cut 10% of its schedule this summer in response to staffing shortages and a member of the U.S. Pilots Union says because airlines have very little buffer or backup right now they will have to cancel flights they normally wouldn't and it's been extremely busy too according to the TSA yesterday they saw their highest volume of passengers since the day after Thanksgiving we spoke to a passenger whose flight was canceled this morning uh, and it's definitely been a bit of a hassle literally we were on the plane for two hours and they took us off then we waited another two hours for them to inform us that it got canceled. And then the check-in, there was a huge line uh, because everybody's flight was canceled. So uh, I was here for four hours waiting and check-in. 
U.S. for how many cancellations we are seeing today. So far, more than 680 U.S. flights have been canceled and more than 1,900 are delayed. Yesterday, we saw more than 1,400 cancellations and more than 8,600 delays. And cancellations were even higher on Thursday. If your flight is canceled, the U.S. Department of Transportation requires airlines to rebook you on the next available flight with space. If that doesn't work for you, they are required to offer you a refund, even if you bought a non-refundable ticket. As for delays, airlines are required to offer compensation for significant delays, but there is a bit of an issue. Uh, there is no official definition of what is considered significant. Uh, back here live, you can see the airport traffic moving okay here by Terminal 7. We did speak to a representative at the Auto Club of Southern California, and they recommend especially during the summer because they are expecting it to be extremely busy to maybe get travel insurance and possibly use a travel advisor. Reporting live here at LAX, I'm Erin Myers. I'll send it back to you both in Hollywood. Erin, thank you for that. Well, Summer Bash is returning to Hollywood Park today. This is a free community event that honors Juneteenth. KFLA 5's Megan Dellis is live for us with Inglewood with more on this celebration. Megan, good morning. Good morning. Let's move. Hollywood Park moves. It says it right there on the sign starting at 9 o'clock this morning. A couple minutes ago, people started to arrive for that free workout. They're getting their body moving because there's a big summer bash going down starting at 10 o'clock. Take a look at the information on your screen right there. You can see that cool graphic that was created. This was all by SoFi Stadium, Hollywood Park, working in conjunction with the city of Hollywood, with Cedar sinai with the LA Rams, LA Chargers, you name it, so that they can put this free, should I say it again, free even event on for the community. You come back out here. I have Jason Witt with me. You're the senior director of all of the fun things with Hollywood Park and SoFi Stadium. So congratulations on the gig. What an opportunity. And you see behind all the food trucks, they started revving up the engines. Over here you have the lake. What can people expect today other than I mentioned the free workout? But beyond that, uh, people can expect to have a really good time here today at SoFi Stadium in Hollywood Park. We have, uh, as you said, the workout classes going on yes. right now from 9 to 10, uh, presented by Cedar sinai or Let's Move, Hollywood Park Let's Move. There you go. But in addition to that, we have a, a, a number of um, activities designed around Juneteenth, really to honor Juneteenth um, and around free. You know, we really want people to come out, have a good time with, yeah. the, with the community and enjoy themselves. So we have obstacle courses, bounce houses. We have a small business, uh, Inglewood Black-owned small business oh, uh, pop-ups going on here. And if people want to apply for jobs, there are also opportunities to get employment here. That's right, a thousand percent. We have our partners, Hollywood Park, Legends, CSE, SP+, Plus, uh, ABM. Our partners are out here doing workforce development and outreach for jobs, uh, as well as other workforce development agencies. Right. So really about getting resources into people's hands and, and trying to get people jobs. Also getting food into people's hands and music. You mentioned obstacle courses. I understand that Chargers Rams, they will both have installations here. Yeah. So people who are fans of both franchises can be a part of that. We've got the Chargers drum line will be out here. Right. Rams cheerleaders, uh, right. huge partners obviously of ours as they play here at SoFi Stadium. Um, just another fantastic day. Um, and really to honor Juneteenth, we have some, uh, some really fun activities built around music, um, built around art, uh, done by the Kinsey African American Art and History Collection, uh, which is being featured here at SoFi Stadium. That is really great. And it, what a day, right, in terms of the weather. It is beautiful out here. It was even a little bright. I went live and like, oh, my eyes hurt. It's so bright. But it, it's cool as well. So Inglewood turning up today, starting at 10 o'clock. Uh, you can come out here if you want to be part of the Summer Bash again, second annual. You guys are already starting to plan year three, I imagine. Oh, yeah. We plan on doing this year over year. And again, it's, it's an opportunity for the community to come together here in Inglewood and the greater Los Angeles area. Uh, we just want to make sure that we are a, a, a beacon of culture here and, and really just coming out and representing for uh, SoFi Stadium, Hollywood Park, Inglewood, and Los Angeles. You guys are doing a great job at that. Also, one day before Father's Day, so it's good that Juneteenth being tomorrow, you guys are celebrating today because, you right. know, people are naturally going to be a little busy tomorrow. Are you a dad? If you are a dad. Three girls. Three girls. <laughs> You're a girl dad. I'm a girl, girl dad. Girl dad. I love it. So is my husband. I know it's a tough job, but it's so well worth it. Anywho, we can go on forever about that. I'm Megan Tellis here in the city of Inglewood. Come on down. Summer Bash starts at 10. I'll send it back to you guys. Come Hollywood. on down. All right. Thank you, Megan. It's a great day for a celebration. Beautiful. It is, and it's not going to be too hot in Inglewood where she is today, so uh, no one will complain about that. We're seeing blue skies and a gorgeous day from that Huntington Beach.